Good morning and welcome back everyone. Today you're going to notice a bunch of clouds moving in. What those clouds do overnight is help to almost act like a blanket to keep in the heat for us. That's why places like Medford and Roseburg, well you're waking up to the 50 degree mark. We are still seeing some pretty comfortable temperatures along the coast as well where we have some mid to upper 40s, but colder as we push off to the east. The reason for that is that mostly clear sky that we started off the night with. Well, it didn't do anything to keep in that nice daytime heating for us, so that's why we're waking up closer to the 30 degree mark. One thing that you're also going to notice is most of us sitting at 10 mile ahead or unlimited visibility. All the fog that would stay and concentrate up towards Sexton Summit where your view on the roads now is down to less than one mile ahead. Throughout the rest of the day, we are going to be bringing back a few peaks of sunshine and temperatures really not going to be feeling too bad. We're going to be right on par with average over in Klamath Falls, expecting your high to hit 62 degrees and so that's more than 20 degrees away from anything record breaking. Similar story over in Wairico where we're going to be just pushing past normal, falling near 70 degrees. Typically we see 68 for a high and it's going to take some mid 90s to start talking about record breaking heat. And a similar story over in the Medford area where for a change, not only have we seen a fall in your high temperature for today, but we're going to be just below average, expecting highs to be in those upper 60s instead of around 70 degrees where we typically are this time of year. And the reason for that is as high pressure moved out yesterday, we made plenty of room for this big band of clouds and showers. What this is is a cold front that's going to continue to push over our direction both today and tomorrow. So we'll be keeping around at least a slight chance for some showers. But as you saw, most of the rainfall is going to be staying up to the north. We still could see a few isolated showers and even into the day tomorrow, a few isolated thunderstorms off to the east side of the mountains. But almost all of us going to be collecting little to nothing out in the rain gauge. So those showers going to be light at best. We are going to be seeing a few passing clouds out there across the coast today and temperatures for us just going to be reaching near 60 degrees in Northern California falling about 10 degrees from yesterday. But as we saw from that almanac right on par with normal for this time of the year, some upper 60s to low 70s on the east side of the mountains. We're going to be seeing some clouds moving through throughout the morning, but a mostly sunny sky is what we're going to see throughout the afternoon. So temperatures as well for us right around normal for this time of the year. Most of us just going to see some low 60s. And across the mountains, it's a cool, cloudy start to the day, and we're going to continue to add in a few peaks of sunshine by your afternoon. Expecting highs to climb up near 60 degrees in prospect in Crater Lake, staying on the chilly side, just some mid 40s for you later on this afternoon. And across southern Oregon's valleys, clouds gradually pushing out of the area. So even with that mild start to the day, not expecting too much of a warm up. We are just going to be hitting the mid to upper 60s this afternoon. And across the coast, high temperatures staying in the low to mid 60s as we head through the next seven days. The change out there is going to be related to your cloud cover and whether or not we have that chance for rainfall across the board. Not looking too great to be collecting much from these showers, but we could see a few sprinkles as we head through the day on Thursday and again Sunday into the day Monday. East side of the mountains, it's going to be the best chance to see a few isolated areas of thunderstorms into the day tomorrow, tomorrow evening, especially when the good news with these thunderstorms is that they will be bringing along a few pockets of heavier rainfall. They're just going to be very hit or miss, so some of us may not even be catching any rainfall from those clouds and Northern California. Same story for us as well, even though we are tracking the slight chance for some showers and maybe even an isolated thunderstorm or two Wednesday and Thursday. Most of us are just going to be feeling those clouds knock temperatures from the 70s today back down into the 60s for your Wednesday and Thursday. Across the Rogue Valley, we've been staying so warm the past few days. It's been hard to keep track of where average for this time of the year is and we typically see about 70 degrees for a high and that's what we're expecting both Tuesday and Thursday into the day tomorrow though. That's going to be where we see the biggest cool down and a chance for showers. We're just expecting some low to mid 60s out there for high.